Free. And you will get your opportunity to state your misguided opinion. That is my right. Good That's why I wrote down my story, and I want to read a little bit of it to you now. My name is Peter McCutcheon, though I never known it growing up in the Collins Plantation. That's in Missouri. I'm a white man, though I know, never know that neither till I was half growed. You wondering how I couldn't have known I was white, I know. Well, I sure knew I was a slave. Couldn't read in a cipher at the time, but I knew what them marks on my back said. They said, you a colored man, you a nobody, you a slave. I just thought I was lighter than them other slaves, them other field slaves, even lighter than most of the house slaves. Though I got so sun brown, you couldn't hardly tell. My hair used to be as yaller as corn. My eyes was blue, of course they still is. But I figured God must have made a mistake, maybe. Master used to whop me worse than them other slaves sometimes even. Suppose he must have thought I was mocking his blue eyes and white skin with my own. Even the other slaves used to whop on me sometimes. Thinking back on it now, they probably reckon I was one white boy they could get to without repercussion. <laughs> or maybe they was envious, because they knew I could pass for white if needs must. I tried more than once to escape. Got caught every time, except the last, of course. Once I got by the neighbors that knowed me, I could pass. Not really pass, since I was a white man, but I mean I could get away with posing as a free man. I guess them other slaves was right to be jealous. 
Well, I joined the Union Army during the Great Rebellion. So did a lot of other black folks, but a lot of them joined the Confederates as well. Seems like they'd rather have stuck with the devil they knew than risk something they couldn't even hardly imagine. War is a terrible thing, but God allowed me to survive it. I guess he was just making up for the cruel trick he played on me, wrapping a white man's body around a colored man's soul. Well, after the war, I wasn't a freed slave in the eyes of the world. I was just a white man. But in my own mind, I was a freed slave, same as any other. But I could pass, and I didn't have to fear no mob of white devils lynching me. Well, I went back home to Collins Plantation. All I ever wanted was to be with my family. They was emancipated then, of course. I took charity from my wife. Me and her used to work the fields together as children. I'd loved her since we was both knee-high to grasshoppers. Well, we settled in Wabunsa County, Kansas, and homesteaded our own property. We were still farmers, but now we was both master and slave, but to ourselves. I had it both ways, and it's much better to be your own master, your own slave. And that's God's Women need to be heard. 
Here he is. Wait. 